forced labor uh, documentation is very sensitive. I think photographers and journalists have to be very uh, aware of how they portray um, migrant workers, uh, people with um, human trafficking uh, conditions. Uh, it's very tricky to, um, to document workers in those issues and you have to be very, very careful. Uh, for example, you have to um, always get to know the people, uh, spend a lot of time, maintain trust, um, get to know if they want to tell their story. And always, always you have to, um, if the person is not aware of what the, your story will, will uh, have consequences on their life, you have to be the one that tells them. You always want to tell the story of the victim, right? You want to talk about the person who's affected. But also you need to keep in mind that by giving them space, you don't want to victimize them even further. You want to kind of somewhere champion that cause, they are, uh, that they want to migrate. The challenge I have is some of the stories portray them in such, uh, in such terms that you feel like, okay, it's better if they don't migrate. And you don't want to send out that message of telling people, taking away the right of migration from them. And this happens more often than uh, we realize that the journalist's voice comes through so strongly that the person about whom they are reporting or the issue about whom they are reporting kind of takes a back seat. There is a subject that me tiene to heart, it's to protect the dignity of the migrants. There is a region in Nigeria that is called Agagais. It's a really color of passage of migrants vers la Libye et tous les autres pays. Donc euh, il y a beaucoup euh, d'accidents qui interviennent, souvent et des pertes en vie humaine et tout. Et dans la couverture de, de cette information, on trouve souvent des, des médias ou des journalistes qui ne protègent pas euh, le visage des migrants. Et souvent on expose euh, peut-être euh, leur dignité aussi. Donc je voudrais vraiment revenir sur ce sujet, qu'il est important de préserver la dignité de ces personnes-là et puis aussi euh, de penser aux téléspectateurs qui souvent, face à certaines images violentes, euh, peuvent avoir certaines réactions. مسألة مهمة في الحديث عن كيفية حماية الضحايا هي مسألة مفصلية داخل العمل الصحفي ليس في مجال الحماية بالنسبة لضحايا العمل القصري فقط أو الاتجاب الأشخاص في كل مسألة نجد هناك فئات هشة وخاصة في مجال الاتجاب الأشخاص والعمل القصري يجب على الصحفي اليوم أول شيء أن يحمي هؤلاء الضحايا عند الحديث معهم لأنهم يعطون ثيقة إلى الصحفي من أجل تمرير أصواتهم ومن أجل أيضا عدم تكرار هذه الجرائم والذين تعرضوا له يرغبون في عدم أن في أن لا يتعرض يتعرض له أشخاص آخرين فحماية الصحفي للضحية مسألة مهمة جدا في عدم كشف الوجه أولا في عدم ذكر مكان أو قلوا إحنا يعني عنوان هذا الضحية اسم الضحية أي 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 عنوان أو أي معلومة ممكن أن تشير إلى الضحية أو تعطيها تعريف الضحية فهذا أو يعرضها الخطر فعلى الصحفي أن لا يذكر هؤلاء هذه المعلومات. So when we are reporting on forced labor and fair recruitment, we have to protect victims. Victims means that we know in Sri Lankan context, we can identify so many people in Sri Lankan who victimized in Middle East or somewhere else in the world. But then when we are reporting, we put many journalists, many other reporters, many social medias put their photos, their uh, pictures, their face, they discover everything. Uh, after that, they have to live in Sri Lanka or somewhere else. Not only them, they are family members, their children. أول شيء نحنا بدنا نحترم إنه أنا كل الأطفال أنا أشتغل بالمفكرة القانونية المفكرة القانونية هي مفكرة أصلاً تعمم ستاندرز ومعايير للشغل المهني المحترم قانونياً وإنس ومن ناحية حقوق الإنسان ومعايير الصحافة. ثانياً نحنا كل الأطفال اللي أخذنا منهم حديث. 
لهم غطينا لهم وجوههم احترام حتى لو هن وافقوا كنا نحن حريصين انه نحن نحميهم فاي شيء بيأذي الاطفال كان مع الناس اللي عم بيشغلوهم ولا بالنسبه لوصم الوصم اللي بتتعلق بوجودهم بالمجتمع او ممكن اي تمييز ضدهم كنا عم نخبي وجوه الاطفال وعم نراعي المعايير اللي بتحترم كرامتهم الانسانيه When working with people with vulnerable uh, conditions, uh, I try to be very sensitive. I try to, first of all, I don't take my camera with me the first time we meet. I try to spend a lot of time uh, getting to know their story beforehand and making sure that they know that they will not uh, face any danger by my story or by telling others their uh, what's go going on with them because sometimes they want to tell their story to protect other people and to, uh, for others not to have the same problems uh, and they don't know that it might cause them any harm. So that's something that I do and I also make sure if they don't want their picture to be taken, their face to be shown, that maybe um, taking their story, recording it or not showing their face by covering their face or um, shadowing their face, that we can still tell their story without bringing harm to their identity or um, letting anyone know about their location. And my, my rule is always you have to go to, into a location and leave without uh, causing any problems because at the end of the day I go back home and they have to stay.